The U.S. Air Force reported on May 14 on the successful test of the AGM-183A or ARRW hypersonic missile fired from a Boeing B-52H Stratofortress strategic bomber near the southern coast of California. The test participated with the 419th Flight Test Squadron and Global Power Bomber Combined Test Force at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The U.S. Air Force reports that the booster launched immediately after the missile left the aircraft and it showed hypersonic characteristics, exceeding the speed of sound by five times. It is noted that the test was a great success. This weapon was developed by Lockheed Martin and is designed to hit targets at high speed with precision. According to Michael Youngquist, the commander of the 419th Flying Squadron, the hypersonic air-launched missiles will be put into the fighter's arsenal as soon as possible. The ARRW missiles enable the expansion of point-blank strike capabilities by accelerating retaliatory fire against well-defended ground targets. We note that the U.S. tests may be a response to the launch of the Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile in Russia. This missile is capable of carrying 10 or more nuclear warheads and decoys, as well as hitting targets thousands of kilometers away. Russia has announced its deployment by the fall. The previous successful tests of the hypersonic missile were conducted by the U.S. in the middle of March. It was not officially announced then, as CNN sources later reported, it was done to avoid escalation of tensions during the visit of U.S. President Joe Biden to Europe amid the ongoing war in Ukraine. Air Force magazine notes that the ARRW program has been haunted by failures for more than a year, with the missile failing three flight tests in 2021. In April the rocket failed to leave the pylon, in July it separated from the aircraft, but the booster did not start, and in December the rocket failed to separate again. This led to the Air Force cutting the budget for the rocket from its 2022 and 2023 requests. At the same time, the Air Force diverted most of its 2023 research funding to the hypersonic attack cruise missile. The two systems are fundamentally different. The ARRW is a gliding weapon that fires into the atmosphere and uses the rocket's energy to fly to the target, while the HACM is propelled by an air jet engine. The United States is not the only country engaged in the development of hypersonic weapons, whose speed and maneuverability make them difficult to track and intercept. U.S. military officials have alleged Russia's use of hypersonic missiles in military action in Ukraine, as well as China's testing of hypersonic weapons. China's foreign ministry denied information about such tests in October, 